And I'm going to go ahead and turn this all the way up. Because why not? Here we go. What's up everyone, Man Bun Metal Ed here. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to add fog to an ego box. Now, if you haven't seen my first video in this series, uh, check it out. I have a link up there, I think. Now, the ego box is awesome as it is with that light uh, that you get when you step on it on stage, but if you can add fog to it, why not? Just make it a little cooler. So to do that is actually not that difficult. Of course, you need a fog machine. Uh, and this is the fog machine I picked. It is uh, something I got off of Amazon. It was like 25 or 30 bucks. I'll have a link down in the description below, but it's not a really high power fog machine. You don't really need much, right? So this guy is uh, remote controlled. So it has this uh, little remote antenna here and I'll get into that later. Uh, and then we have a little key remote to trigger it. So the first thing we gotta worry about uh, is how to get the fog into the box. Now, if you saw my video before, you saw two big holes on the side there, um, and that's how we're gonna get the fog in. Now on the end of this uh, machine, there's a really small nozzle, about an inch in diameter. Um, and I thought, why not? It'd probably be a good idea to get a hose about that diameter. Uh, so I picked up this plastic hose. I think it was from a dishwasher drain or something like that. Um, tried it out, it's a bad idea. So what happened was the hose got really hot, it melted, and all that fog um, just condensed back into water and it didn't work. So uh, when I tried that out the first time, I was really upset with it. Uh, I was kind of discouraged, but then I tried different sizes of PVC tube and this is what I came up with. So I use one and a half inch PVC tube um, and I basically have uh, this bit here, which uh, the fog goes into um, a 90 degree to go up and then a T here to go into um, each of uh, each side of the box and then another elbow here uh, and then these fittings here uh, basically these are uh, just MPT fittings I think um, just a little junction fitting but they work really nicely and just fit into the holes that I made into the box and uh, this thing here I didn't actually put it uh, together with any glue or anything it's just all uh, fit together so I just press everything in real good and uh, it's held up really well. Now the holes that I made in the box are about an inch and seven eighths. So um, they fit in there really nicely and I just use a Forstner bit to make those. And the last thing I did to get the fog out of the Ego box is to drill a bunch of holes in the top of the panel. So I did uh, one quarter inch holes. I did three rows in each panel, uh, right on that gaffer tape. So basically right in between your lights, obviously. Um, I did seven in each row, so 21 total, um, and that seemed to work out pretty well. I was planning on maybe going a little bit bigger, but I did the quarter inch, the fog came out, and it worked great. Uh, you still get fog out of the sides of the panels as well, but I mean, either way, it looks cool in my opinion. And that's really it. That's how you get fog into the Eagle Box. So I think that's the, that's the easiest part, right? So the next part is triggering it, and this is where it's gonna get tricky. Now, well, first time I used this, I had this uh, remote here um, that you just hit a button and it turns on the fog easy enough, but when you're playing, that's not the easiest way to do that. So I actually had to uh, give this to somebody and they would trigger it uh, when I went and stood on the box. Um, so I had to rely on someone else to uh, trigger this um, during the gigs and it worked out really well, but in the end, it'd just be better to have it happen automatically, right? So I did some playing around with the receiving mechanism um, on this fog machine. And what's really great and makes this really easy is the fog machine has an XLR connector on it. So uh, it's just three pins. And I figured that of uh, the three pins, one would be power uh, and then two would be just, um, just a switch. So uh, once you connect two of those pins, then uh, that's what's gonna send the signal to create the fog or start the fog machine. So um, I did a little playing around and I was able to find out that pins two and three, once you cross those or connect those, short those, however you wanna say it, um, it'll create fog. So uh, all I have to do is essentially create a circuit or some mechanism 
to uh, short those two pins together. So I decided to do that with an electric circuit. Um, you could do that uh, a bunch of different ways, I'm sure. I think one of the guys I was talking to actually helped me do the lights on this box. He suggested doing a, um, using like a Raspberry Pi or an Arduino or whatever. That's way beyond my skill set at this point. I'm sure I could have learned how to use it, but I didn't want to. I know how to do circuit. So I designed a circuit. Well, I'm gonna have to stop myself right there. Uh, once I started editing this video, uh, I realized that adding all the electronic stuff into it, um, all the circuit board calculations and building everything that really added to the length of this video. Um, it'd probably be like a 20, 25 minute video. So I ended up splitting this up into two videos. So now we have parts two and three. The next video is going to be just the circuit board creation, building it, testing it. But at the very least, I can show you a finished circuit board. So the purpose of this is to uh, just connect pins two and three on the XLR connector. So I included a potentiometer in the circuit that will control the opening time or the fog time from about one second to roughly nine and a half seconds. Um, and there's also a couple of LEDs on here, a red one that shows you that it has power and then a blue LED that comes on when the fog is coming on. Um, and that's pretty much it. So I'm going to just jump right back into the video a little bit later on uh, to when I am just uh, getting ready to test this with fog. So here you go. So I think uh, we're ready to try this out um, on the actual fog machine. Unplug that for now. Bring up the fog machine. Hopefully that's about ready to go. Plug this in. Power it on, of course. And hopefully this is warmed up, ready to go. Let's see, I'll turn it down. So I don't need it making a whole bunch of fog. There you have it. So test number three, I think. It's good to go. Uh, what I need to do now is um, mount these connectors into my box. So let's go do that. So I mounted the XLR connector and the potentiometer in the box. You'll notice uh, the potentiometer actually sits just about flush with the box, which is nice. So um, it's not easy to bump and uh, you can reach in there with the fingers or a screwdriver if your fingers are huge to uh, adjust the timing. Now I have my circuit board mounted in here and I just use some hot glue on the edges uh, to secure it down. You could use um, some standoffs, but I didn't have any lying around. So just use hot glue. What's nice about this is it's secure, uh, and then if I need to um, take it out again, I can just heat up that glue and, and remove it. So not a big deal. So let me make my connections here. So I made the connections for the potentiometer and the XLR connector, so we'll just have to do power now. So I have these power wires right here, um, going right to my power supply. Unconventional colors, but that's just what I had lying around. So yellow is positive and gray is negative. And then finally, I have one wire here that is connected to my switches um, that control the lights. All right, so those are my connections. Um, let's try this out, see how it powers up. All right, we got the red light showing we have power. Hit our switches. And then our blue light comes on. Perfect. Yeah, so I'm happy with uh, the way this is set up. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this all back together. All right. I think we're ready to go. So I have everything plugged in, everything set up, screwed in. I've got the PVC pipe going to my uh, fog machine down there. I've got my XLR connector plugged in here, power plugged in there. I think we're ready to go. So let me turn off those overhead lights, turn this guy on. So we can see our red LED down there. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up. So why not? Here we go.
So I think I'm gonna pay for that a little bit in this fog, but looks like it works. Well, unfortunately, it's gonna take a little bit of time for this fog to clear out of my basement, but that's pretty much it. That is adding fog uh, to your Eagle Box. So hopefully this video helped you out. If it did, please hit that like button down there below. Really helps me out a lot. And if you wanna hear more about what I'm working on, like gear reviews, tech videos, builds like this, that kind of stuff, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel below and hit that little bell icon so you're notified whenever I have a new video come out. But hey, until next time, rock on.